watchers and ye holy ones, bright seraphs, cherubim, and thrones, raise the glad strain, alleluia. Cry out, dominions, princedoms, powers, virtues, archangels, angels, choirs, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather today to celebrate our Lord's presence among us. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We pray. Thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, let Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, Elijah, the prophet, went to Sarapath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, please bring me a small cup full of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. 
There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose, but first make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year and he and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Pray. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now, once for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice, just as it is appointed that human beings die once. And after this judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord jesus sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury many rich people put in large sums a poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents <laughs> calling his disciples to himself he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she from her poverty has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ. When I was a kid, my father would gather my brothers and I every Sunday morning and give us each a dime. And that was to put in the collection when we went to Mass later that day. And of course, my father would put in a dollar. So the parish got a dollar fifty from the Grady family less if any of us were serving because then you didn't have to put into the collection. Now before you get judgy, you have to understand that our parish was on a military base. And so the money that came from the collection was just surplus money that the priests had to spend on little things because the military at that time paid all the expenses for the chaplains and so there was nothing they needed from the people. So actually it was great because they used to pay for CYO breakfast um, when I was in high school. So every, every once a month I got to go to the officer's club instead of going to religious education class, which my brothers and I, we love that. Now fast forward years later when I went to visit my parents down here in Fort Lauderdale, and they were in a regular parish, I noticed my father had upped the ante from a dollar to $10. So I thought, well, that's, that's inflation. I don't know what he would give today because prices have gone through the roof. Just St. Anthony Parish alone, between the school and the church, we have an operating budget of over $5 million. Seems like a lot, doesn't it? It's dirt cheap when you consider what we're getting for the money. People's lives are being changed. People are embracing the message of Christ and they are following his example by helping those in need throughout our community. Who can put a price on that? It's invaluable. So thank you for your monetary support, but more, thank you for the support of who we are, a community based in Christ who lives the gospel day by day right here in Fort Lauderdale. You know, there was a commercial that said, getting together with friends, priceless. Being part of the kingdom of God is also priceless. But there are bills, so do remember that. But remember, you're not just funding a physical plant. You're funding a ministry.
And now let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again from the dead in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence in God's love for us, we now present our needs. For Pope Francis, bishops, and leaders of the church, may the Holy Spirit continue guiding them in their service to God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For political leaders, may God's wisdom inspire them in seeking the common good above all else. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit help us to bear good fruit in service to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, the poor, and the mourning, may God's gracious mercy bring them comfort and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, May they soon rest in the fullness of God's kingdom together with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our own intentions, we offer in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for always listening to our prayers. We ask that you grant what is best for us through Christ our Lord. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of the Church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Phil, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, St. Anthony, St. Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered, through Christ our Lord. I'd like to thank everyone who helped with our liturgy today, and thank you all for tuning in. Have a wonderful week. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh, no.